What's up guys, it is Will here back again and we're here for a special video this time because I'm actually really late on this, but I have this week off. So I decided let's do something productive. Let's do a reaction recap analysis of the last of us trailer that was shown by HBO like last week. Like I said, not very timely. Timely, this is not my best trade, but nonetheless, we're going to go through since I've played the game like 30 times. I'm hoping that I can go through and pretty much analyze almost every scene and be like, hey, I know what this is, I know what that is, and try to explain it for people maybe who haven't played the game or have played the game and try to, you know, figure out what's going on here. But we're going to scrub through because this is almost like dancing with the devil here. We're trying not to get a copyright claim. So we're going to play the game of can I not get a copyright claim? Please, HBO. I'm, I'm praying, uh, you know, please uh, take it easy on me. But let's scroll through a little bit and just kind of see what we find, right? The trailer starts out, the music, by the way, if you didn't notice, I'm not going to play the music, but if you did not notice, the music is actually from the game. It is actually from the scene in Pittsburgh when Joel and Ellie are driving through. They're about to just enter Pittsburgh and they get uh, ambushed by some hunters in the city. So it was actually playing their truck crashes. The song plays. So it's actually a really cool thing that they did that. This is Pedro walking through clearly in Boston, which by the way, Pedro Pascal, I was one of the skeptics a little bit of him being Joel. I was like, I don't know, actually, I don't know. But the more I thought about it, I was like, the dude fits Joel perfectly. He looks like Joel. He has Joel's personality, I feel like, in the characters he's played so far. He's had that ruggedness, that sort of, I don't know, that sort of um, like broken down type vibe where he's like, hey, I'm a survivor and I've seen some shit, but I'm strong as shit also. That's kind of how I feel about Joel. And I feel like Pedro perfectly fits that. This is clearly in Boston in the very beginning of the game. Um, when Joel was walking around with Tess, just sort of living in Boston in the safe zone. This is clearly where that is. They're talking about the cordyceps, talking about what you know happens when you turn. There's the Firefly logo. Clearly the Fireflies have gotten into the safe zone in Boston. You can see the army there, Fedra, whatever you want to call them. They are clearly there uh, having the civilians repaint over the Firefly emblems or logos that have been put there. So very accurate to the game. Joel's broken watch. We know that's a pivotal part of his character, right? That happens when Sarah gets killed in the first 15 minutes of the game, right? So, uh, by the way, there are going to be spoilers in this video from the game. So if you don't want anything spoiled for you, you might want to turn away. But I'm assuming the people who have played the game are probably going to watch this, right? But Sarah's death is uh, pretty pivotal for Joel. And that broken watch is obviously an important part of his character, which is why I have it tattooed on my arm. So you can see Pedro here just sort of reflecting on life, all that good stuff. So this is sort of a Firefly type thing when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. It's a very Firefly-esque saying, phrase, whatever. So very accurate, very faithful to the game. I think the trailer overall looks very faithful. Ellie's a prisoner here. My best guess would be that this is clearly in winter. This is winter when David captures Ellie. She's in prison. She's in that jail cell. She didn't have shackles on her in the game, but I'm pretty confident that that's what this is. Um, if not something a little bit different, but I'm pretty confident that that's what it is. She's looking through her jail cell. This looks like winter to me. This is probably where David has her captive. They're not going to show David yet, but this is probably where it's happening. Um, safe zone here. This is near Boston, clearly, uh, I think. Yeah, this is Boston. This is probably when the soldiers are out looking for Joel and Ellie and Tess when they're trying to get to the um, the capital. That's, that's my best guess here. And this is exactly what it is. Yeah, because this is when they go through the tunnels in the game and uh, you're trying to get to the Capitol building to actually that's that's what they believe to be their mission, right? To transport Ellie to the Capitol building. This looks very much like that's what's going on here. Um, yeah, and it looks very faithful to the game. So I think uh, Tess looks great. Ellie looks great. Um, I think Ellie's going to be awesome. So I think she looks great. Uh, let's see. We got HBO. Versus series. So this is freaking awesome, dude. You could tell they did not spare expense when it came to the show. This looks just like the game recreated in live action. It looks beautiful. It really makes you feel immersed like you're in the world of The Last of Us. Really, really, really love how this looks. I think this looks very faithful again and uh, makes me excited. And I think the show will not only appeal to the gamers who have played the game, but also people, general audiences. I don't agree. Like, I've heard some people who just kind of throw out the claim that, oh, it kind of looks like a Walking Dead. No, it's not the Walking Dead, trust me. Like, I don't think it's pre presented here as such, and I don't think it's going to be like that. If you know The Last of Us, it's not Walking Dead. Um, this is Bill, clearly. This is Nick Offerman playing Bill, who you may know from Parks and Rec. Very good choice. I think he fits the role of Bill very effectively. Bill's clearly got cameras set up of some kind, like watching footage of Fedra and other soldiers around the safe zone. So I'm not sure why Bill's doing that. Joel and Ellie, this looks like maybe fall season. I'm not sure what they stumble upon here, but they stumble upon obviously some some remains. But I'm not sure 
They're probably headed to Tommy's here, but I'm not sure exactly where this is in the story. It might be a slight deviation. This is actually with, very clear to me, this is actually with Joel and Tess and Ellie when they're headed to the Capitol building as well. They run into a horde of clickers. And, you know, for those who know, Tess obviously doesn't quite make it. I love the sound design here with the clickers. Love it. I think they nailed it. I love the look of the clickers. I love everything about it. It makes me feel like I'm watching the game. It's a... Uh, it's a, it's like I said, faithful. I get, I'm going to keep using the word faithful recreation. Um, the clickers look amazing. I think they're going to be huge fan favorites and my CC toys clickers are going to go up in value. I can only predict it. So yeah, those figures, if you can get a CC toys clicker, I would recommend it while you can. Um, clearly in winter here, winter, right? Um, they're trying to get to uh, Salt Lake City, Utah to get to the firefly, uh, firefly building, but, uh, not quite there yet. Um, it looks like a slight deviation because in the game, obviously in winter, Joel is pretty uh, impaled. Let's just say that. So, you know, he's not, Ellie and Joel are pretty separate for most of winter. Maybe this is a slight deviation. Um, not sure how they're gonna approach that, but it's clearly winter, obviously. This looks like kind of fall. This maybe looks like them getting close to the university where they think the fireflies are. That would be my best guess. Cause it's very, there's leaves all around. It looks like fall, right? And Joel's outfit looks like it's fall. Um, this almost looks like sort of left behind. This to me looks like sort of where Ellie and Riley sort of get um, infected and this and Ellie's upset. It could be something different, but that's what this looks like to me. So this is Marlene, clearly. Uh, I don't know who that is with her though. Must be a new character, maybe a Firefly friend or something, right? But this is definitely Marlene. Um, Marlene's pretty, pretty important. I think she looks great too. This is left behind right here. This is Riley and Ellie here. So. I'm glad they're bringing that to the big screen as well. I really like, I'm playing Left Behind on the uh, remake now, so I think it's pretty cool. I'll always love Left Behind. I've only played it a few times though. This is Outbreak Night. So this is clearly Outbreak Night. This is when Joel and Sarah, his daughter, are running from the infected. This looks like it's gonna be absolutely crazy. This is clearly gonna be the first episode, right? Um, the zombies are coming back to life here, you can tell. Trust me, if you haven't played the game, this scene is absolutely insane. And this is really gonna be the first episode that hooks people in. Um, this is gonna happen episode one, just like it does right away in the game, pretty much. And this is really what's gonna draw people in and say, wow, I'm fucking hooked in this show. This is what, if you if you ever play the game, I recommend playing the remake, by the way. If you do play it, this, this scene, after the first 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be like, okay, I don't wanna do anything else. I'm gonna keep playing. Okay. So this might be maybe where the fireflies attack in the early part of the game where Joe and Tess are just kind of like walking around. You can see here there's like explosions and like and um, like uh, Fedra soldiers running around. The fireflies might be attacking. This is clearly outbreak night as well. There's Tommy, by the way. Tommy's played, um, I forget the actor's name, but he, he he's played by the guy who played the Terminator in the new Terminator film, who I think is a good choice for Joel, since Pedro's Joel. I don't know who this is in this hole here. That's clearly Bill pointing at him, but I don't know. That's not Joel, I don't think. So I'm not sure who that is. So um, yeah, here's Joel when they're trying to travel to the Capitol building. You can see Joel punching the shit out of some Fedra soldiers, right? So yeah, this is uh, this is early on in the, in the game slash show too. So Ellie, same kind of deal. It looks like they're traveling to get to the Capitol building, traveling through. I don't know who this is. This is one of the ones in the trailer that I saw and I was like, I don't know who this is. So maybe it's a new character. That's my only assumption. I'm not sure who it is, but she's in it. This is the truck from uh, Pittsburgh, my best recollection, when they have that military turret and everything. And it's, I think they had bodies and it said run on it in the game too. I'm not sure, but it's, 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 that's definitely, I'm pretty confident that's what that is. Um, Outbreak night, there's a plane crashing, right? That never happens in the game. There is a big explosion in the game. But uh, it's like a car crash and shit just explodes at a gas station or something. But this is a little bit different, but it looks insane. It looks so crazy. Um, winter, obviously. I don't see, what's interesting here is when, and when we watch this, right? Ellie's running away in what looks like winter because she's, she's wearing a hoodie, right? So fall slash winter. I don't know who's with her. Oh, it's Henry and Sam. That's who it is. Yeah, it's Henry and Sam. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's Henry and Sam. This must be, in, this is a slight deviation too. Um, so we're gonna see how this shakes out, but that's Henry and Sam actually. I didn't notice that on first watch, but that's who it is. And Ellie's firing at him, that's pretty cool. That explosion, I'm not sure. This is Sarah when they're running through the bar. She's not gonna make it much longer. Uh, that's the crash in Pittsburgh. This looks great actually. This is actually the, um, 
winter scene where Ellie kills David and Joel kind of stumbles in. He's like, hey, you know, stop. You know, it's me. And then he's like, oh, baby girl. And then it's like a really heartfelt scene, right? This is clearly that. But it's look, that's outside in this one. In the game, it's inside in the barn when it's on fire, uh, in the building when it's on fire. Not, not like this. But hey, Clicker looks great. That Clicker looks fantastic, dude. I don't know how they could have adapted that any better than they did. For one, it looks uh, real, like it's not CG, it's uh, all practical, and uh, it just looks it looks crazy. Uh, it's it's gonna get people big time. And then they have a little line, save who you can save, Joel and Ellie are walking off. It sounded like maybe Tess or Marlene was saying that, I'm not sure, it's one of those two. But um, yeah, so they're kind of riding off into the distance, you know, saying, oh, we're going, uh, I guess maybe they're going to Salt Lake at that point or to Tommy's, I'm not sure. But then we get a nice little Last of Us logo to round things out. But guys, I think this looks great. I'm really excited about this. Cautiously optimistic because you never know. Um, but, you know, I love that it's faithful, faithful, but at the same time, I think with any time you're having an ad adaptation, we also have to remember that it is an adaptation. It's not going to be exactly the same. There's going to be slight deviations, and I'm okay with that. They are two separate things. I want it to be faithful to a degree, but I also understand that there are going to be changes. As long as they're not integral changes that like destroy the story, then I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed my <laughs> recap and analysis based on my extensive uh, gameplay knowledge because uh, I played the game so many times. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you haven't picked up Last of Us before, try the remake out, even though I just spoiled the whole game for you, but it's fine. Try the remake out. It's really good, really like it. I've been playing Left Behind now after I finished the um, the original remake. And uh, now I'm gonna uh, you know probably stream it for you guys sometime soon. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns, whatever. But other than that, peace out. Let's end this stream. Bye.